Oh well, hello there. This is Cytorak, and my hasn't it been a long time? We are back in my Let's Play world. Yes, episode two is going to come, but it might be a bit different to what you remember. I have recorded an episode two previously, and then exams hit me like a well-swung sledgehammer, and I didn't really have the three hours I needed to edit it. So time passed, and stuff happened, and eventually I decided I'm going to I'm going to re-record re this because I didn't really get a stunning amount done that would make good footage. So what we have. Up here, uh, we've got a bit of a wall around this to stop the skeletons from shooting us as they fall, which does happen. It's still not perfect, it does need changing, because very rarely a creeper will land up here, and when you're idling stood beside it, they'll come round and blow everything up, and you just feel like shit, to be honest. Uh, I'll show you up here, I've got a bit of an access route to the side now. Hopefully a skeleton won't shoot us as we're going, oh, it tried to. Oh, and there's an- oh, 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 oh my god. Wow. Oh. That I didn't expect. Um. Did all my stuff just land up there? This has not started out well. Anyway, we have three stories of mob spawner up there. Uh, I would have put higher ones in, but in the version I was running in, they don't load inside the top chunk. They'll only load, uh, mobs will only spawn one chunk lower than has been loaded for some strange reason. No, my stuff will have fallen down now, won't it? Or the vast majority of it will have fallen off the edge. Get my helmet. Ah, see, shift clicking on armor. That is because I'm playing a snapshot. Yep, I'm going to be running this in the latest stable, or I say stable, latest vaguely stable version of Minecraft, and at the moment, uh, the snapshot seems pretty stable. I did try and use it last week, but it didn't work because uh, the, the last week's snapshot wasn't exactly what I call stable. That's another addition. I now have a water drop. It's a bit uh, finicky though. It's not the most reliable way of getting down at the moment, because as you can see, it's an incredibly small hole. And you have to aim rather well, <laughs> which I'm not stunningly good at. So, um, for my episode 2, that the second recording of episode 2 that I did, which also failed because my world corrupted somehow, which wasn't to do with upgrading to a snapshot, by the way, um, I did make a water stream up and down, but that didn't work, so it kept killing me. One thing I have noticed is this. I, I thought, well, I'll upgrade to the snapshot, because it'll be cool. One thing we can do is trade with the villagers. And then I came, came out to the village and thought, why are there no doors? There's no door here. There's no door here. None here. None of the houses have doors. We have had a zombie race. We have no villagers. No villagers at all. So uh, we're going to go and have to find some new villagers. Yeah, the main reason I updated to the snapshot is because so much new stuff's been added, or is being added. And as it is, I've not got a lot of world loaded at the moment. Um, still not picked up the TNT. Where did that fall? Oh no, I put the TNT in the chest, that's right. Um, I've not got so much of the world loaded, so I kind of wanted to upgrade to the snapshot so that when I do load parts of the world, um, it'll load with all of the new features like desert temples and the jungle temples, which have just been added. This is 21, I mean, 12 week 22A. Um, so anyway, this episode, I do want to get a, a safe up and down system working. I want to get a platform underneath the main mob system that I can uh, have my house up there because this temporary one's getting a bit cramped. Uh, just finished showing you around there. Uh, let's get some redstone out and some torches. Torches there too. Uh, so I want a lot of glass for going up and down, so one thing I'm going to have to do is some sand mining. I can't really safely drop off into that from here. It is really a, a, a hard aim act from the central platform, so that's no use right at the moment. Anyway, head down here. Uh, I'm not sure if I made this in the first episode. Oh yeah, gravel has a new texture. At first I wasn't sure whether I'd like it or not, but I'm, 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 I'm growing, to, growing to like that after a little bit. It's not bothering me so much. This is my quarry. I'm not sure whether I made it in the first episode or not, but I think I went out here first episode, and then I went further down because I figured it would be better quarrying at diamond level. That's a safer alternative. Now, I'm not sure how far this has got before the world's corrupted. Yes, we have a rather large hole down here. Oh, wow! We still have the setup. Cool. Let's pull this lever. This is going to cause a mess. This is really going to cause a mess. Yeah, I was having quite a bit of fun with TNT. Oh, and we're getting experience from... Um, my, uh, that's, that's an interesting new thing that I don't know if anyone knows yet. Um, TNT apparently gives you the experience from mining, it would appear. Um, yes, in the new snapshot you get experience from mining, as we all know, uh, or rather we may not all know. You get experience if you mine a block that drops items, not a block that drops. So I'm not sure how it works with gravel. Do we get experience if it? No. Um, gravel dropping uh, flint doesn't seem to give us any experience. But yeah, I, set, I rigged up a bunch of TNT under the floor. I spent so long up at that mob grinder just idling and I really have got a lot of TNT. I uh, just want to try this again. I think some of the TNT might have uh, destroyed my experience before. Oh, I'll just use a redstone torch. Don't really care. 
Can we get that? No, we're not going to bother. Let's see. How much? Yep, we get all the experience from that. Oh, wow, that's quite a bit of experience. That's really cool. A <laughs> uh, new way to work experience farm with um, TNT mining. <laughs> now, I I'm honestly surprised at that. I didn't know. Uh, I knew you could get experience from mining, but I didn't know that uh, TNT mining gave you experience. So that's new. Um, as you saw, this cavern is pretty uniform all the way through, and that's because of the way I have been um, mining it out. I'll just go and show you how, how I made it, because you won't have seen that, definitely. I know that I recorded that in episode two. I'm not going to be showing you any footage. It wasn't really interesting. What's I in here? Let's get this out. Yeah, as you see, you don't get experience from mining that, and that is because you get experience from smelting it. Otherwise, you can just place it and remine it, and you would have infinite XP. I know I'm using a diamond pick at the moment, but I'm not too good at it. Right, so what we do is like that, and then two blocks along. This isn't the most blocks you can destroy with TNT, but it does make the neatest caverns, provided you've got no dirt in the way. That is, of course. And I have a lot of TNT, so I'm not massively bothered about the efficiency. I'll just do a short one at the moment to show you. Do that, and then get... Oh, I've got cobblestone there. Of course. Get rid of the torch for the moment. And get some redstone out. Put that torch back there. Uh, there, that'll do. Cover these with redstone, and the nice thing is about this, provided you've got no dirt, uh, this redstone actually survives. It didn't survive over there because it was on the floor and the floor got destroyed, but, um, yeah, it's pretty funky. See, one of our redstone gets destroyed, and we knock another bit out of the wall, so I've basically just been going along like that, quarrying the stone that I needed for the uh, redstone mine. Not the red redstone mine? What am I talking about? The mob farm. Anyway, uh, I have kind of run out of coal, and I need a bunch of glass, so I'm going to... Uh, blow out a big tunnel down here. I won't show this on video because it's probably not going to be particularly interesting. Uh, I'm going to coal mining and various stuff. I'll show you if I find anything interesting, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the introduction to this episode. I know it's been a long one, and I shall see you in a little bit. Ooh, uh, hmm. Hold on. Okay, that was a little bit too laggy. Um, too much bugs. I tried mining obsidian, and the block lag was quite honestly stunning. It was, it was amazing. I was getting about... Why is that so slow? Huh. Probably about two or three seconds block lag on the obsidian. It was honestly quite ridiculous, and then the world corrupted, ran out of memory, all sorts of stuff happened. So I decided to uh, give that idea up. Unfortunately, this means I, I'm back to square one with this episode, but you have, you have seen my little world tour. Um, I'm not going to show you, apart from me talking now, I'm not going to show you any of the other stuff. Uh, so yeah, not playing snapshots, or at least uh, not playing this week's snapshot. Maybe if next week's is more stable. I mean, it's going to have to be quite a bit more stable. But um, there's a possibility of doing Snapshot next week. Who knows? Until then, though, I plan to have quite a few episodes out. Um, so, yeah. And I'm not going to die this time. I'm going to make sure not to do that. So, head up to the surface, get my stuff, go mining for a bit, and then I'll be back with you when I'm ready to make my elevator, I think, is the time, which is going to be quite a long time now. So, yeah. That, that, that was the world tour, and a bit of Funny messing around with the snapshot, and see you soon. Why am I back before I'm making the elevator, do you ask? Well, it turns out there actually was a spawner. Uh, I've not taken it on yet, it's just around this corner though. I've seen the edge of it. Uh, just uh, get the bow out. I'm getting a couple of skeletons around here, that's not too much of a problem. Oh dear, that's my sword gone. I shall fight you with the torches, and my fists, which is... Oh, I hate to do this, I really hate to do this, it's such a waste of iron. But, um... Come on, torches, place! Oh, the zombie actually dropped iron. Me. Ah, there's one behind me too. Uh, <laughs> use your bow! Whoa, I'm getting flooded by zombies. Ah, uh, this is scary, I'm gonna die, I'm so gonna die. Run! Run for the hills! Uh, make this place easier to get out of. Wow. I hope they've not tracked me all the way. That was pretty scary. Uh, I need to put some furnaces down. Because I really need a sword now. <laughs> oh dear, that was bad. Oh, whoops. Clicked on the furnace. And again, double clicking. Don't want a golden sword, that's no use. the crafting bench down. Uh, that actually made me jump. Like, in real life. That's why I jitted all over the place. <laughs> that was really scary. I should have heard it coming as well. Wow, 
Wow. I don't think I've ever jumped that badly in Minecraft. Oh, let's put some valuable stuff in here. Don't want to be carrying all the TNT around because that's just asking for trouble. There we go, that's quite a nice split. That, uh, uh. Wow, I really got shocked by that one. Um, and those completely messed me over. Let's get some swords in here. How much armor have I got now as well? That must be degrading pretty badly because I know there wasn't much on the helmet and boots. Yeah, I completely lost boots. Let's get some more boots. Could do with a flint and steel too. Now that I've got that flint in there. Just because he, uh, using the uh, thing for the TNT is not something. Why did I even bring TNT with me? Uh, well. Which way is up here? Bring it, spawner. I have fresh boots and I'm going to take you down. Two completely unrelated things, but I will throw them together. There we go, I think that's our problem solved. What did we get? A bucket there. String, wheat and bread. Nothing particularly interesting. A couple of buckets, I suppose. Cocoa beans, that's nice. That's the only thing we really need out of chest is cocoa beans. Everything else we've pretty much got. I think, oh no, records. Records would be nice. Oh, definitely going to have to set up a trap here for my first spawner I've found. Though, yeah, it would be good for an experience trap, I suppose, until I set the other up as one. I don't know. Do I really want a zombie trap when I've got the XP, I mean, the, the um, mob farm? Is it worth it? Well, I'll set it up anyway. <laughs> just not right now. I just wanted to share my joy at having found diamonds. Unfortunately, there's a skeleton trying to uh, ruin my day. Woo, diamonds. Diamonds. How many? How many are we going to get? Just three? Oh, I suppose that's not too bad, though. No. That's, that's reasonable. Let's put our customary cobblestone block in the middle here. Uh, where can I go with that? Uh, I put cobblestone blocks down in tunnels that I've completely explored. Uh, so it's easy to find my way around labyrinthine cave systems, which is pretty much all that Minecraft... More diamonds! Minecraft gives you nowadays, um, with the new terrain generation. The caves are much prettier. But, um, and much better for mining, resources-wise. But I, I, it's a bit of a love-hate relationship I have with them, because <laughs> I get lost in them so often. Which is more my fault than the game's fault, but, you know, how these things are. I uh, definitely don't want to fall off here, so I'll just... Not with diamonds in my inventory. Well, that was not worth saying it. Inven inventory. <laughs> Maybe a bit of you mean. Oh, I'm a bit scared about that skeleton. Let's put a block there. There we go. Safe. How many diamonds have we got here? If we can get to them. Stupid. One there. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. That would be silly. Ooh, five diamonds total. That is not too bad at all. Nice all. Now you skeleton can die. Woo, diamonds. Woo, just found another spawner. Uh, not disabled. Oh, it's got a little chest on it. That's nice. Come on. Oh, don't want to die. Let's say... They're still spawning in that. Oh, that's my last one. Oh, that's enough. Oh, it's got a bunch of... Oh, the minute, sorry. Oh, anyway, what do we have here? Ooh, a record. 13. What's 13? I can't remember. Um, and a pair of saddles for what use they are. Um, I'm pretty certain this isn't close enough to the other one to make a double spawner, but then I could have gone a really convoluted route. I'm not exactly certain where I am. Yes, we have a thunderstorm at the moment, which is really annoying. I hate the rain in Minecraft. Ugh, oh, I don't like it at all. It's pretty easy to get back now because I've not thinned down many of the routes people are blocking. Ooh. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, this would be happening if I know my craft. Ah, that's better. Yeah, I've not been exploring many of the routes. I've just been choosing random paths so far, so it should be lit up where I've come from, at least. Uh, that was the intention, but I seem to have come down to a dead end. I'll leave that till I come back. Which way? Ah, down here. Ah, so I forgot about that. I've been trying to use TNT to widen some of the paths as well. Oh, where are we? Oh, did I just burp? I apologise. Pardon me for being so rude. It was not me. It was my food. It just came up from down below. Oh no, that's not right. Is it not? Oh dear. Uh, let's think. How is it going? Uh, that's it. Pardon me for being so rude. It was not me. It was my food. It just came up to say below, and now it's gone back down below. <laughs> 
Hey. That really isn't the fitting of my age. Oh well. Maybe I'm going into uncle mode. Zombie spawn a number three. I wish we had some different ones, but uh, this one wasn't particularly hard. There's just a spider down here. Not even any zombies. What do we get this time? Oh, we've got the other disc. <laughs> Nate and more cocoa beans, though that's not really an issue, given the amount of cocoa beans we should be able to farm soon. I've cleared uh, one of them out, uh, just to get it the right spaces for the... I know it's a bit of a waste, but I will. Just record the coordinates here. What have we got? 1, 4, 3, 15, 2, 1, 8. Ooh. That is 17, 6, and 13 away from the last spawn that I recorded the coordinates of. So we should be able to link these two up. Let's see, which way is that? That's Actually, it's less in the Z di I mean, the Y direction, because I recorded that wrong. Um, it's that way in the X direction. And in the Z direction, it's that way. A double zombie spawn sounds quite nice. Wait, no, 218, 231, yeah. So well, I'll mine away the path between these, just remember. I know it's not doing what I intended to do, but double zombie spawn is quite a nice fan. Yeah, that's quite nice. We've got one up here, and then just down this really short passageway, another one. I think for the moment I'm just going to take out the mossy cobblestone from the floor, because I like collecting that as a building material. Uh, actually, I don't even think I'll bother here. At some point, possibly next episode, we'll deal with this, but I want to do something else this episode, like I said at the start, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. So the second thing we need, if we're... we've... well, I should say, I've got all the sand... Uh, the glass sand. What am I talking about? I have all of the uh, coal I'm going to need. Uh, so the other thing is... Oh, there's no point in that. Sand. We're going to need a lot of sand for glass. I'm just wondering how much... wow. That's uh, certainly a fast method of sand mining. <laughs> I was going to do the torch mining trick, but that is faster. That's faster by several orders of magnitude. I have been using the torch mining trick over there, as you can see with this lovely clean area. Uh, next to it is going to be this gr great big hole. Oh, I'm amazed by how much that knocks out, though. Uh, I think I can do it one deeper, even. If I can get out of here. That should reach the surface, I think. Yep. I mean, it's not the most efficient way of getting sand, certainly, because you are going to be destroying lots of it, but... That's already almost two stacks, well... One and a half stacks of sand, let's say, in, in my inventory from a couple of seconds. Let's completely eradicate this desert. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I was going for the depleted quarry look over here, because it's quite a mess now. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, I've completely filled my inventory. Look at that. All that sand, and that probably took me... Oh, well, I started uh, pretty much at night yesterday, and it's got to about midday, so... That's a one night and a half a day. I'm not sure how long Minecraft day lasts. Is it five minutes? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, not a long time at all to get six stacks of sand, I think. On with the purpose of the episode, then. We have the centre of the tower right above us here, uh, taking down the coordinates and so on and so forth. So this is it. That's where the centre's going to be. Now, the elevator itself doesn't offer a way down, so my decisions are where to put it. Also, the elevator, because I'm making a boat elevator, it's going to be one block wide. Unless I decided to make it bigger, which would be quite awkward, I think. Um, so, I think... Just working out where to do it. If I put the elevator here, and have a drop here... Hmm, no, actually... Uh, and do it one space further back. I'm going to have this all. Anyway, I think it's going to be stone brick down here, I don't know. So this is where the elevator's going to be, and... i just... put some floor down here. So the first thing to do is get the walls on. And I suspect this is going to take quite a while. Uh, we need a too high space at the bottom, so we don't break any boats. And we'll stick some fence gates in there. And then connect across there. And I think that's pretty much going to be it. It's just going to be a solid tube up now. Uh, so I shall come back either halfway through this, or when I've finished. I have quite a lot of glass panes though, so I think I should be able to get all the way to the top. Who knows? See you in a little while. Well, that's it. I'm up to the top now. Oh, I've started filming before the lower chunks have loaded. This is... <coughs> Interesting. 
we don't appear to have any ground. Yep. I have to fill this up with water now, though I'm most of the way up already, so it's not too much of a hassle. I mean, I, must, uh, I reckon I've only got, oh, maybe three or four runs up and down with the buckets. Uh, four, I'd say, before that's full, so that's not too much of a, an issue. I shall be back after that, and then we can start designing some floors and ceilings and stuff and everything. Oh dear. Wow. That was kind of a nice being sidetracked moment. Uh, I decided that I wanted to get some dark wood from the tiger biome that is behind this ju the jungle that I'm under at the moment. And I thought, well, no, I'll head over there. So I started to head over there and then got distracted by a, a surface cave uh, in the jungle. Dropped down here and a skeleton spawner. A wild skeleton spawner appears. Which would be really nice, but I don't... I don't know what need I have for it. Normally I'd love a skeleton spawner, but the mob trap kind of makes it redundant. Uh, I don't need more than my several full stack. I mean, I've probably got about half a chest full of arrows at the moment, and the same of bones, never mind bone meal. So I've not really got any need for anything that skeletons give you, which is unfortunate. Uh, I will come back here, though. I'll just make a note of the coordinates, as always. Oh, where have I put the pad that I left those on? In fact, did I leave those on the pad? Yes, they're here. Where are we? We're about 104. Get a pen that works. Oh, I'll just skip this one. Okay, here's a beta phase demonstration of my water elevator. Uh, you've all probably seen it before. Uh, you just have to shift yourself out kind of the water stream. This only works with um, glass panes or iron bars because you can shift yourself far enough out of the water stream not to drown, otherwise you will drown and it will not be pleasant, let alone work for getting you up. And if we look at F3, we're, uh, it's not stunning, right? I'm going up, I have to say. But it'll do, considering we can just idle while we're going up. And yeah, that's kind of convenient. I hadn't planned that stop at the top with the wood there. That wasn't intended at all. I'm surprised it doesn't destroy it like that, though. Oh well. Let's go and collect whatever's up here. What's up here? Just some zombie fuck up. Boring. But yeah, I've got myself some spruce wood now, and should be able to get a bunch more with that many saplings, that's enough really. So I'm going to start building a platform here, for funds. Yeah, I much prefer this, these dark wooden planks, I think. I'm going to have to do this around the top, unfortunately, just because of the way that the, that happens. If you put wood at the top, you won't be able to jump up onto that. Does it, how does this go with the... Yeah, that goes alright. It gives it sort of a, an aged look. We like really old houses, that sort of colour of plank. Well varnished. Oh, and that's what happens normally. Um, just thinking here. I will want that to... I don't want it to just bring me straight up. I want it to take me across, so I won't put wooden planks there. I'll put wooden planks down there though. I'll extend these ones down uh, when I get in a position to do so. And the glass panels will continue here. Push it along and then I'll have some sort of break, I think, before it travels, just drops straight downwards. Because I think if you drop inside a boat, um, it doesn't hurt you. If you I don't think you can get hurt by falling inside a boat. I am yet to be proven wrong though, so we shall see. One big thing I think I want to do before I finish this episode, don't know how much I've got yet, but I've not got a clue how much footage I've got. I want to get a roof. Well, what are you talking about? I was just saying ran, ran, strange things are coming out of my mouth. This is not what I mean. Oh, one of them got there. That's really rare. Like two of them got up there. A creeper's got up here if I look through it. Lucky it was one from a higher level. Ugh, it's so hard to get up there and do any work. I want to, this is, this is why what I want to do now. I want to get a tube put in there to bring them down so that they can't shoot out at me. And the way I've decided to do this is stairs, stone brick stairs, uh, because I can make windows through then that they can't see through. So you can still see them falling to their deaths, but you, they can't do anything about it. Let's just reduce the rents here. Wow. Um, didn't realize I had a huge blockage there. That's a problem. Let's see if we can get rid of some of these mobs. Not got any arrows on me. Damn. Yeah, I've really got to sort that out. 
That's a major issue. Oh. oh. It's really hard remembering um, what state the thing was in because when it corrupted, I've not made a backup for a while. The backup was made for the when you saw I blew that thing up at the start, or oh, twice this episode, the TNT mining thing. The backup was made because I, um, I didn't want to break anything doing that much TNT down there. I'm not even aiming at the moment, I'm just shooting into the pack. Oh, can I get, can I get rid of that skeleton? Maybe I'll get myself some records. Come on. Kill the creepers. Woo, record! That's one record. Definitely going down to pick that up. Oh, come on. That's creeper down. Creeper down, creeper down. Oh, uh, yeah, you can just die like that, skeleton. Not even worth my time. Let's go and get that record. I didn't recognise that one. I don't think I've ever had the red one before. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. I just realise how low my health was. I need to eat some of this zombie flesh. Even though I have bread on me. Oh, the experience. Nice. What's this? Chirp. Hmm, that sounds nice. Uh, that's, that's something flash. Yes. I suppose I should really bring that down. Anyway, let's get working on this. Well, that's done, and I think it looks quite nice now. Um, obviously there's a bit of work to be done on the imaginary supports for this area up here in the bottom face of that is incredibly bland and we'll need changing up a lot. But I've been recording pretty much from the start of today to the end of today. As you can hear, I'm getting a little bit tired now. Um, quite quite tired, actually, not just a little. Uh, so I'm going to end the recording here. I will probably encode it tomorrow and upload it, and it will be there for you to watch. Thank you for watching, though. <laughs> Hope it's not been uh, too boring. Uh, I think I've got quite a bit done and uh, a few escapades today. Oh, actually, one thing we can do before before we go, let's let's find out what this music just sounds like. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate and comment, please. How, how can I improve? <laughs> really, anything helps. And oh, we had a green disc in there. Oh. Um. That's nice, but oh, I'm not sure what happened that. Yeah, so we now have two 13s and cat. Oh, this is a bit queer. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure about this one. I think I like it the most out of the ones I've got so far. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear, it is getting late. Good night, boys and girls. See you tomorrow. Literally. Oh. Bye-bye.